Can scoliosis weaken your immune system? Scoliosis is an unnatural sideways curve of your spine with rotation. It's this rotational co component that makes scoliosis three-dimensional. Now, when the spine bends and it rotates, it typically rotates into the concavity of the scoliosis, not the convexity. This structural aspect of scoliosis is what is progressive, meaning it's its nature to worsen over time. It either worsens as a result of growth in adolescent stage, or it worsens slowly in the adult stage as a result of compression or gravity over time. When we look at the immune system and the way it functions, it's its first line of it's your first line defense against foreign invaders, things like germs, viruses, infections, energy, uh, injuries, and even disease. It's made up of a vast network of proteins and receptor cells, and remembers everything it becomes in contact with, or a battle or defeated, so it can recognize and fight and destroy if anything will re-enter the body in the future time. Healthy immune system equals a, a great ability to fight off invaders and to adapt to your environment on a day-to-day -day basis. Unhealthy immune system means the, body's, the body doesn't have the ability to recognize and fight off invaders, and this ability weakens, it weakens your body and weakens your ability to adapt to its environment. So the question is, is there a connection between scoliosis and the immune system? Well, scoliosis is a structural condition, and even though it's not directly and doesn't show clear relationships to the immune system, there is some links that are being explored, even though they're, whether they're clear, whether they're direct or indirect, but there is some link, there are some things that are being explored on the connection between scoliosis and the immune system. The connection is most prevalent, the most prevalent form is in, is in adolescent idiopathic scoliosis or idiopathic scoliosis, where the etiology of scoliosis is not clearly understood. It is difficult to determine that if a scoliosis curvature is more likely to develop in a person who already has an weakened immune, immune system or, or is the weakened immune system a potential complication of scoliosis. Which way is it is what we don't understand, meaning that if you already have a weakened immune system, you're more likely to get scoliosis or is because you have scoliosis, it's leading to a weak immunity. But we do know scoliosis is multifactorial. And what does that mean? Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is considered to be a multifactorial problem, meaning there's many, many variables that can affect, affect different people at different levels from person to person to meaning what is actually causing their scoliosis. Links have been found between idiopathic scoliosis and hormones and bone density body mass index, the, the, neuro, the muscular skeletal system, there's neurological activity, even structural um, congenital components within the nerve system and spinal cord and brainstem. And therefore, since there's so many different factors associated with the causation of scoliosis, it's considered to be idiopathic or multifactorial. Interesting though, there is a study on idiopathic scoliosis that they used zebrafish, and they suggested that there was a connection between scoliosis and related inflammation and a weakening effect on the immune system, especially around the curve where the scoliosis is, is actually located, meaning that there's inflammation to the immune cells right around where the curve is located. This suggests that there is a link between immune system inflammation and the initiation and the progression of scoliosis. Now, which one is responding to what is what we don't know. We know scoliosis can also affect the, the immune system because scoliosis is, even though it's highly tre uh, treatable, but it isn't curable, meaning there's no cure to scoliosis because we don't know what's causing it. But since it's there, it can cause an extra challenge or stress in somebody's life. Stress always triggers or can always trigger the release of cortisol, and cortisol is your stress hormone. Among other things, increased cortisol production over time is linked to inflammation. Again, a potential connection between inflammation inflammation and immunity as a result of scoliosis. Additional studies have also found that there's a link between immune cells and muscle remodeling and scoliosis. So there's a link between your muscles and the immune cells remodeling themselves or because the scoliosis is causing remodeling to the tissues because of deformation in the spine. The muscles help support the spine and there's a possible link between muscle remodeling and the development and progression of scoliosis. And this can also lead to do an association, association between immune cell function. Research studies also show the possibility of connecting between scoliosis and immunity, but the, again, it's not clear whether it's direct, directly related or indirectly related. We definitely need more research. Between scoliosis and immune function, there is associations 
and there's more than likely going to be indirect connections, meaning when you affect the sco when scoliosis progresses, since it affects the entire body, the effects can be much more widespread than just to the spine or muscles or neuromuscular system. It can affect other systems of the body, which can lead to malfunction, which malfunction will eventually lead to effects that can affect the health and well-being of the body. The best way to deal with the possible connection between scoliosis and the immune, and immune system is to deal with the scoliosis itself. Meaning, when it comes to whatever causes scoliosis, normally by the time we deal with it, the curve has become structural. So what I'm saying is, let's say the, the connection was, is invert, inverse. There is a weak immune, immune system and the person develops scoliosis. The curve now progresses during adolescent stage and now becomes diagnosed somewhere between 25, 35 degrees. At this stage, if you were to reverse the immune weakness somehow, more than likely the curve is not resolving itself. It's staying there. So therefore now, the, this indirect relationship of scoliosis affecting the muscle remodeling and stress on the body and all the things that I mentioned can now negatively affect the immune system in that way. So most cases, when we're seeing patients with scoliosis and some type of immune system malfunction, you're addressing the scoliosis as a scoliosis because regardless of the cause, it becomes structural. And once it becomes structural, you have to structurally address the problem. At Scoliosis Reduction Center, we offer proactive treatments to help address all these related issues and complications by really customizing proactive treatment plans to stop scoliosis pr progression, reduce the curve, and to help you have a healthy, functioning body, which hopefully in turn leads to a healthy, healthy and functioning normal immune system. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.